Hello, hello darlings. Welcome to Idrij Alamode, where I share all things fabulous. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Idrij. I'm from Congo. I live in London and I love fashion, beauty and lifestyle. Luxury unboxings, fragrances, all that good stuff. And if you enjoy that also, then this is definitely the channel for you. Um, in today's video, I am showing you how to get your house apartment to smell like a penthouse, like a luxury hotel. I love a hotel lobby vibe and that's definitely the kind of vibe that I want in my house every time people come into my house I love it when they compliment that my house smells beautiful very welcoming very clean and I love spending time in here because it also smells very clean it smells very fresh and I'm all about that my home is my sanctuary and this is the place that I spend a lot of time I want to feel like I'm in a hotel I love bringing that hot boutique hotel vibe into my space into my home these are the little ways that I add luxury into my home by making sure that every corner smells beautiful and so I'm really excited to get into it if you're not subscribed yet babe what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel because lots of content is coming your way follow me on Instagram at TikTok where I share all things are fabulous too all right let's get into so, it before we get into all the diffusers and all that good stuff I want to share a very important step Step number one is to always make sure that you open all the windows in the morning to get some fresh air. As soon as you wake up, okay, sorry, I just naturally went into Lingala. <laughs> The first thing you do is open your windows in your living room, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your bedrooms, everywhere. Open the windows, allow fresh air to come into your home because you need to be able to get rid of the smell from the night, okay? Fresh air is your best friend when it comes to smelling, when it comes to your home smelling good. You guys know that I love luxury and one of the ways that I practice everyday luxury is by ensuring that my space is clean, is by ensuring that my home smells good, ensuring that I have little luxuries around candles, diffusers, that just really Really elevates the spirit in my home okay I like for my house to feel cozy I like for my home to feel welcoming even for myself I love feeling like I'm in a hotel like a boutique hotel in my own, in my own home I love that vibe so hence why I really do um, spend a lot of time money ensuring that I have the right products that will elevate my uh, my home tip number two will be to actually clean your home a lot of the times you may buy the candles you might you may buy the diffusers you and your products may not project as well because the environment isn't clean because everything is cluttered everywhere so part of having that penthouse hotel lobby vibe is ensuring that your home is clean whenever you go into a hotel the lobby or the rooms everywhere is usually spotless it's usually very clean there's lots of fresh air coming in which really allows the diffusers the candles to do its work okay so i will start by recommending cleaning products first i live alone so i mop my house once a month because it's just me unless I cook Congolese food, which I do quite often. You know, I'm a Congolese girl, like I mentioned at the beginning. I like to make my pondu, the lamba ba pondu, nanga ba fumbo nanga, at least once a week. So, biloko na biso is like a suru makasi. Our Congolese food smells really strong. African food, if you're African, the baby, you know. African food smells really strong. Sometimes it takes me about two days to get that smell out of my home. So what I like to do is, when I know I'm gonna make Congolese food, I wait to mop my house then. When I know that I'm gonna make something that smells really strong, then I will mop, because when you're frying things, the oils just literally flies everywhere on the floor, especially for me here i find oils on the floor on just on the walls i'm like oh my god so i like to deep clean my home um after i finish cooking but usually the other day my friend came in here she's like it's have you been cleaning i was like no why she's like because your house smells spotless and everything is so clean and i was like i clean as i go 
it just makes life so much easier for me okay as soon as i finish having a bath i clean my bath i clean the walls so that the water doesn't stain so that it brings back that freshness as soon as i finish washing my dishes i wipe the surfaces as soon as i finish cooking i wipe the surfaces so first product i'm going to show you is the flora this product is amazing my sister put me on zoflora zoflora this um this is the linen fresh which is what i don't usually use but i this is the only i found in a shop last time um i will link the ones that i normally use down below but this also smells really nice it smells like linen oh but it, it's quite rosy at the same time really beautiful really subtle and it's quite warm i love using zoflora for um washing my bath so what i usually do is get like a small empty bottle pour water and then some zoflora in it and i use it as a spray so that when i finish wash brushing my teeth when i finish having a shower i just go ahead and spray and then wipe it down i also use zoflora to clean my kitchen especially after um, cooking like fish or our Congolese dishes like bondu, fumboa, all of that stuff. I always use Zoflora to, as soon as I finish cooking, as soon as I finish cleaning my dishes, I pour some hot water in the sink and then add some Zoflora, leave my cloth in there and just let the smell evaporate all over the house. And that's a beautiful way to get your home to smell nice. And another thing that I've heard people say they do, which I haven't done, is use your clothing detergents and pour it in water and just let that smell and spread all over your home. I feel like there should have been two parts to this video, you know, because I have so many tips for you. Another thing to do is after you microwave your fish, your African food, your steak, whatever, get like a plastic bowl, pour some water, cut some lemon slices in it and turn your microwave on for about i don't know five minutes and let the the, the water heat up and let that uh let the steam clean the inside of your microwave that does an amazing job of getting rid of that you know tough food scent which can affect the smell of your home as well so i also use my zoflora to mop my floor okay so i use zoflora and flash thank me later i don't have any flash so i will get a picture and put it on the screen for your reference the flora and flash the lemon flavor is the best for cleaning your floor and this is what i meant by cleaning your home first because whenever i clean and mop my floor with the flora and flash that smell lingers for at least a week in my house that fresh flash and the flora scent and it's just beautiful it makes life so much easier especially if you don't have candles especially if you don't have the fuses okay i also use my zoflora to wipe down my surfaces after i finish cleaning so uh, zoflora is a concentrated multi-purpose disinfectant so it's it also um it also kills bacteria the flora if you're watching i'm your girl i love your products I also have another Zoflora multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner, surface cleaner. I love this. I bought a packet. This is my last one. So this also smells so beautiful, so beautiful. I mainly use this to clean my bathroom, to, to clean my sink. So this, it says it's a mystical... Uh, mystical seductive fragrance combining oriental rose and orange blossom with rich dark amber. Oh, I thought there was jasmine in here. Yeah, I love this so, so much. As you can see, I'm almost out. I use it to clean my bathroom. I use it to clean my sink. Sometimes I also use it in the kitchen and um, to, to wipe like my dinner table as well, my high table. And, and like here as well, I use it to wipe with this with this. So this is really, really good. Last of the sprays, I also love using this Method anti back All-Purpose Cleaner. This is with Wild Ruby it's so beautiful it smells amazing i use this mainly in my kitchen um and it's an antibacterial plant-based product i do love this brand because they don't use any chemicals whatsoever so if you're looking for products and that doesn't contain any chemicals especially if you have children then i think this is definitely great um even for the bathroom sometimes i use this for the sink area it just adds a really nice fresh scent lastly you need wipes you need wipes um multi-purpose wipes that smell good that um just helps to get rid of bacteria around the house i like to use the detour 
um, wipes. There's another one that I use from, um, uh, not Costco, from Wilco, but I've run out. It's so good. My sister put me on. Um, they're like 75p, I'm sure, but they smell so nice. It's got like these orange, um, it's like orange flavor, it smells amazing. But this Dettol one also smells really nice. Sometimes I use this to to wipe down my bin area, to wipe down the surfaces in the kitchen and around the bathroom. So this is really, really good, especially if you have kids and you don't have the time to be cleaning after them every single time, then you can just wipe things down as you go. I even used to wipe down my sink sometimes when I brush my teeth, like I'm in a hurry to go out and I don't have time to clean it. I will just wipe this with it and then I go. Moving on now, we are moving on to candles. If you know me, then you know that I love to burn a candle. Oh my God. Guys, I burn a candle every single day this is why candles do not last in my home and um, because I just I literally burn them every single day candles are amazing for masking you know they smell away and um, but like I said the key here is to clean your home your home first open your windows and then use a candle so sometimes I wake up in the morning I open up my windows and I burn a candle just to invite that beautiful fresh scent into my home to welcome new energy and things like that candles just help me to feel cozy candles help me to feel relaxed relaxed I don't know it just psych psychologically it does something to me it really helps me to feel relaxed so I love so first up for candles is this deep teak base candle I've actually had this for quite some time and I burn it like this you can burn for I don't know 45 days I think or more but I literally usually burn this when I've made something that smells so strong so whenever I cook like my Congolese food I make pondu cassava leaf if I'm making fish or anything like that then I always burn this candle and um, whenever I'm having visitors coming I usually burn this candle whenever I'm having like my soft evening a glass of wine movie then I definitely burn my base candle from deep tea this is like your dark currant I think this candle is yeah I think it's black currant it's so cozy it smells rosy it's so beautiful it's very welcoming I just love how opulent this smells this is definitely my favorite candle I recommend this it's a bit pricey but trust me babe it's worth it you would find this in every boutique luxury hotels luxury lobbies you would definitely find this um uh you will find this candle if you want your home to smell like a penthouse if you want your house to smell expensive luxurious like a hotel lobby kind of vibe then this is definitely the um candle for you this is definitely the candle that i recommend everybody to buy hands down the best candle deep teak does hands down it's part of the soft girl package you know if you want that soft life in your home if you want to invite that luxuriousness in your home then basic candle from deep teak is the one next up we have something quite woody this is from nest candles i love this this was actually sent to me as part of their christmas package or um this one is another scented candle uh it doesn't say what the um the notes are but this is definitely very woody like a deep wood kind of like a quite musky smoky i love it so much it smells incredible it's this and the Bayes candle from Deep Teak is literally the ultimate bougie, luxurious penthouse vibe that I love. Every time I burn this, everybody's like, mm. everybody's like, oh, what is that? Honestly, most compliment I get when people visit me is your home smells amazing. Even from the door, people usually people usually say my home smells amazing. So thank you so much. It's because I love candles. I literally I love creating that homely, comfy space. When people come into my home, they literally just tuck themselves into my sofa and like say, "Oh my god, I'm about to fall asleep," and I watch them as they do it, and I love it. <laughs> This candle that I'm burning is Sand and Fog. This is the Berry Current, okay? Sand and Fog is a brand that I discovered in TK Maxx, okay? 
If you're looking for candles on a budget, I recommend you go to TK Maxx. Sand and Fog have a huge variety. They have a huge range of candles and their berry currant is one of my favorite because it smells like bays. It smells like the teak candle that I showed you earlier. Obviously, the teak smells absolutely stronger, lasts a lot more longer. The scent is projects so well. Burning one candle, burning this deep teak in my living room, it literally projects all over the house. That's how strong this is. Where this only projects in my living room, okay? So I love um, Sand and Fog. It's a woman brand, I think, by two sisters maybe. I love this brand, they make the most amazing candles. Yeah, they don't last a long time because then again, I do burn them like crazy. I am obsessed with them. So I love this brand so, so much. If you're ever in TK Maxx, definitely check out Sand and Fog. Next up, I have another candle to show you from Jo Malone. I haven't burnt this candle yet, um, but I, I had a candle from Jo Malone in Roses or something, which I've burnt, it's in my bedroom. I love that one too, um, but I wanted to show you this one because it's similar to Bay's. This is Blackberry and Bay candle. When I tell you, this smells insane. I bought this in Bista Village actually. I think it was like 10, 15% less, um, it was discounted. So this is the candle right there. It smells absolutely divine. I think this is definitely my favorite sort of scent for my home, that blackberry, blackcurrant, um, berry kind of smells, like rosy, woody, is definitely my favorite with like uh, jasmine or amber. Like it's literally what I love in my home. I find it to be very cozy, very opulent. So this is candle I cannot wait to burn. I don't know how well they'll project, but I usually just leave it open like this and it projects really well around the home. I have another candle by Nest. Nest is a brand that I really love when it comes to candles. This one is um, Himalayan salt and rose water. This one, it smells really fresh, it smells really light, um, quite rosy, because obviously of the rose, so it smells, it's got rose water, so it smells like, yeah, it smells like rose water, basically. See, like, even rose water for your face, like the serums and stuff like that, that's what it smells like. So it's very rosy, very feminine, um, and I love it. It's a New York brand, it's giving me New York hotel lobby sort of vibe, so... I really cannot wait to burn this. These next candles burn so beautifully, babe, because I have the big one I showed you earlier. I've had this since December. This one is usually in my bathroom. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to burning it in my bathroom when I'm having that self-care night and just relaxing. Sometimes even when I'm having a shower, I like to just burn the candles. When I come out of the shower, I can, you know, I can see it burning, I can hear it flickering and just get that really warm scent. So I love that. It makes me feel like I'm on a holiday. I'm in a hotel. <laughs> we love it. I purchased this Yankee candle. Um, I love Yankee Candles by the way, but I never really like the packaging. So when I saw this packaging, I was like, oh, this is cute. Let me try this packaging. And it's very simple and I feel like this would look really nice. So this is the Seaside Wood Candle. Um, I think this has sandalwood in it. Sandalwood is another note that I love having it in my home. Sandalwood is really sophisticated, it's really cozy, it's really sensual. I love having sandalwood scents in my home, especially in candles and diffusers and stuff like that. So I cannot wait to burn this. I know that Yankee candles do burn a long time, but I'm not sure how long. I, I don't know how this will project but it smells incredible like i said sometimes i just leave them open because i want the smell to just linger around the home Moving on to diffusers like i mentioned earlier my living room is open space i am my kitchen and living room is in the same area so there's it's quite of a long space as well so one diffuser does not cover my whole apartment so in my living room area i have this ambi is it ambi yeah this ambi plug in this is in the jazz no is it jasmine no it's a sandalwood one i will link it down in the description if i can find the packet I will, I will put it on the screen but i love using this for my living room there's another one as well called pine and something i was using that before and i feel like i probably prefer that one but this is also really nice um 
So it's, it kind of comes like this and you like plug it in here, okay? And this one smells really creamy. This is the sandalwood. It smells really cozy. The pine was also so beautiful. I loved it. I need to get another one. And um, I feel like it balanced the other one that I use in the kitchen so, so well. But this also does the trick. And you have to be careful with these because some of them can smell really cheap. So um, I recommend Ambi and there's, and Fabrice as a brand, um, if you can check them out, because this one that I use from my kitchen, this is Fabrice and it smells insane. It's the green packet, I, no, this is the vanilla one. Okay, this is the vanilla, it comes in a thing like this and you just insert it inside and then you plug it into your wall. I love this so much. This really makes a difference and I love that this contains three of them. Um, of like, diff I don't know if they're like different scents. I think they're all the same. I think they're different. To be honest, I'm not sure. Together, I feel like it is the perfect combination. This goes in my kitchen and this goes in my living room. In my uh, passage, I don't have a plug, which is really annoying. I wish I did so that I could get one more for this. So what I tend to do is buy another one of this and keep it in my utility, which is just by the entr entryway. And I leave the door slightly open just to get that fresh air coming in. So having these two is a must for me. The main diffuser, the star of this show is my Milano diffuser by Dr. Vendress. I recently bought this because Dylan was on my case <laughs> to get this and she was not wrong. Although she doesn't like this one, she buys the berry one. This Milano one is another sandalwood. Oh, I find it so woody, very sexy. This is literally giving hotel lobby. This is giving you that penthouse. It's giving you that opulent luxuriousness that you will find in a five-star hotel. This is that kind of smell. Every time I smell this, it just smells like you're in this big penthouse, a mansion. You know, I, I love this scent so, so much. This is money well spent for me. This is obviously quite pricey. You will find this diffuser in most luxury hotels, in most luxury penthouses, in most luxury, um, even shopping centers, you would find this. I went to Bissa Village and in their um, personal shopper lounge, they had these. In Selfridges, you would find all over the counters they have this. In Harrods, all of the counters, they have this. So this is a must have. You may not like this scent, but um, Dr. Van Dress as a brand, I think is the best. They make the best diffusers. And they have so many other um, scents for you to try from. I have one in my living room and I have one in my passage and it's doing such a great job. It's projecting so well. What I love about this is that it's very subtle. It's not in your face, but you definitely smell it. Okay, I love it. Another diffuser I wanna show you is this one from Rituals. To be honest with you, I do love the scent that's in here. It's a sweet jasmine. It smells incredible, but I haven't used it in a long time. This projects to the gods. This you actually plug it into your TV side or whatever. Um, it works as a plug-in, just like the ones that I showed you previously. This one, it blows out um, the fragrance from here, which means that it's blowing out quite a lot at once. Um, I wish, again, that I had a plug-in in my bathroom so that I can put this there, but I don't. So... Every time I have this on, my visitors go crazy. Like, what is that smell? It's not strong. That Nothing that I've showed you here gives you a headache. Everything is very subtle because I love, you know, subtle scents. I don't like uh, scents that are too strong in my home. I feel like it can give me a headache. It will make me feel uncom uncomfortable. So I like scents that are strong, but they, um, they gradually grab your attention. You know, it's not just like, whoa, too strong, overpowering. No, they gradually do the work and they linger, they spread, they project so beautifully. This one, I completely recommend it also. If you're looking for a plug-in, it's quite pricey, but I, um, I swear by it. I think it's so good. I will find what the name of the scent I have inside is and link it down below. But I know that it's a sweet jasmine and babe, it smells creamy, it smells luxurious, it's giving you hotel lobby, it's giving you Parisian chic. I love it so much. So lastly, um, I have a home spray, which I use. This is actually from S. Johnson's. It's the Sunderwood, sorry, Sensual Sunderwood and Jasmine, which is the same, which is the same thing that I have in here. 
here basically um this smells amazing mm. this is the only <laughs> this is the only home spray that i use and to be honest with you this usually sits in my bathroom i have like a um, a basket with like products in there and this goes in there so that i have a different sprays for my visitors but for myself i like to use this for my visitors i've got something quite glassy but they usually think it's perfume so no one uses it they usually gravitate towards this one so maybe i'll just change it to this i didn't show you the one in the bathroom because i don't think it smells amazing it's from sand and fog um it smells very earthy barely has a smell so i'm looking to change that but this smells amazing, especially after cooking. I usually open the windows and go around and just spray this all over the house. I love it so much. It smells really sensual, really warm, really cozy. Um, one thing about these though, I do find that they don't last. So you smell it as you spray and after a few seconds, they just disappear. And I don't like spraying this when I have visitors because it's like they know you sprayed because they're coming. Do you get it? I don't like that. I want people to come in and be like, oh wow, it naturally smells nice in here. She didn't make an effort because we're coming. I don't know, I, I have a thing about that. Is it just me? Am I the drama? <laughs> I like people to, to, you know, to come in and be like, oh wow, your house smells good. I can tell it smells like this all the time. Where this, it's like people are coming, you spray everywhere, they walk in, they're like, whoa, it's overpowering, it's too strong. They know you just sprayed something. So I prefer to just have something to have my candles, to have my plug-in diffusers, because they gradually work and entice you. <laughs> So lastly, babes, I also love this Lenore crease releaser. This is amazing for spraying down your bed. And I usually use this to spray my sofa and my, um, my throat that's on my sofa and the throat on my bed. So whenever I do my laundry, especially uh, my beddings, I usually spray this just to release the creases. Um, I'm starting to iron my bedding again. So I spray this anyway and then I iron it. But this just leaves a beautiful smell but it basically smells like a detergent and yeah I'll leave it down in the description for you I have a rug in my bathroom so I usually spray my rug this as well just to get that scent lingering I forgot to mention that you can actually clean your walls with the flora so what I usually do to clean my walls is use some white vinegar but white vinegar doesn't smell nice so I usually go on top with some um, uh, what you call this? I usually use a little bit of the flora to just wipe around after even my doors after using white vinegar I go over it with some of flora just to keep that smell going and your home is your, your your sacred place Okay, this is where you spend most of your time. It's important for it to smell nice It's important for it to feel and look cozy. Okay, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know I will definitely make them um, Yeah, why not for sure? if you want to know other ways of making your home feel luxurious as well as well sorry i will definitely make that for you thank you so much for watching i hope this helps let me know if you have any other tips and if you use these tips that I, i've told you today let me know if it works for you and how you find them don't forget all links will be down in the description box down below Mwah. love you lots bye